Well, had two people you. accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun, we need help immediately. We were rehearsing, and it went off, and I ran out. We all ran out. Like this ID that yelled at me at lunch because asking about revisions. It's my Did you see him lean over my table and yell at me? He's supposed to check the guns. He's responsible for what happened in the Chilling 911 call there. It was the first following the deadly shooting on the Santa Fe movie set of Rust. And now the person who made that 911 call is taking legal action. Mamie Mitchell is who you heard in that call. And now she's teaming up with a very prominent celebrity attorney calling for actor Alec Baldwin and others to be held responsible. Gloria Allred is known for taking on a lot of controversial cases. This one is sure to be no different. Brianna Wilson is here with details on the lawsuit Allred and Mitchell filed today against Alec Baldwin and the other producers of the Rust film. Yeah, that's right. So the lawsuit aims to hold Baldwin and nearly two dozen other defendants accountable for the shooting that took the life of Helena Hudgens last month and injured director Joel Souza. It accuses the actor of assault and intentional infliction of, emo of emotional distress. Allred claims what happened on set October 21st should not be considered an accident and said Baldwin fired the gun even though the action was not written in the script. We allege in our lawsuit that the events that led to the shooting by Mr. Baldwin of a loaded gun do not constitute simple negligence on Alec Baldwin's part or the producers of Rust. Instead, in our opinion, Mr. Baldwin chose to play Russian roulette when he fired a gun without checking it and without having the armorer do so in his presence. Attorney Gloria Allred is representing Mamie Mitchell, a script supervisor for the Rust film who was also the first to call 911 when actor Alec Baldwin fired a fatal shot at a cinematographer on set. During Wednesday's announcement, the attorney claimed Mitchell was also injured by the gun that was fired just four feet away from her. Obviously, safety protocols were not followed leading to this tragedy and to the injury to her director and to her and perhaps others. Mitchell also recounted her experience on the day of the tragedy, watching her friend and colleague fight for her life. They had some kind of large oxygen balloon thing on her face and her left hand was on her stomach. It was blue. Mitchell said she couldn't believe what was happening. She gave an official statement to law enforcement before driving home. Just 10 minutes after she got there, Mitchell received the call that Helena Hudgens did not survive her injuries. I stood in my driveway screaming. I'll never forget what happened on the set of Rust that day. I relived the shooting and the sound of the explosion from the gun over and over again. I'm depressed. I don't feel safe. I feel like at any moment anything could happen to me and to those that I care about that are standing close to me. No, neither Baldwin nor the production team for Rust have responded to the lawsuit since it was filed this afternoon. In, pub in previous public statements, Baldwin has maintained that what happened was a tragic accident. And you may remember the Rust production company released a statement not long after the shooting saying the safety of their cast and crew is top priority. And even though they were not made aware of any official complaints concerning weapon or prop safety on set, they would be conducting an internal review of their procedures while production is shut down. They also said they would cooperate with local law enforcement in their investigation. Back to you.